It's time for this week's Science with Sabrina, presented by Sylvan Learning. The heat is dangerous and it affects everyone differently. But if you're outside wearing a dark colored shirt, you're going to get hotter faster. So for this week's lesson, we're learning how colors absorb the heat, but we are having a little fun with it and using crayons since the kids are headed back to school. I glue different colored crayons on this board and I'm gonna place it in direct sunlight. According to Crayola, crayons begin to soften at 105 degrees Fahrenheit and will melt between 120 and 147. The real science happens when the sun's rays beat down on the crayons. The crayon colors either absorb or reflect the light from the sun. Within an hour, the crayons begin to soften and around two and a half hours later, the darkest colors begin to drip. Here's what it looks like after four hours. The darkest colors melted while the lighter colors aren't even soft. Now, let's get into the science of it. This experiment has a lot to do with physics. Different colors have different wavelengths, and each wavelength absorbs or reflects light differently. A black colored crayon will absorb all of the wavelengths and convert it into heat. The result is a crayon that starts to warm, or in our case, it actually melts. Now, a white colored crayon reflects all of these wavelengths and it doesn't convert into heat. The temperature really doesn't change much. Now, any of the colored crayons between white or black will either reflect or absorb the light differently. That also means that the heat is converted differently. That's why there's the common saying to wear light colored clothes in the summertime. That's it for this week's lesson. Learning about signs where you live, I'm 5 News meteorologist Sabrina Bates.